Hello and welcome to Starfall. Uh, today I'm going to give you a quick preview of the planet render. And please keep in mind this is very early development footage, so, you know, glitches and bugs are to be expected. As you can see, we're staring into the sunset here, and that sunset is courtesy of Sean O'Neill's atmospheric scattering shaders. You can find them on his website. And, you know, there's still some kinks in the equations, but it looks okay for a demo. And the terrain here is a ridge multifractal uh, built from simplex noise. It, again, looks pretty bad at the moment, but it works. And I'm probably going to have to spend a couple of months tweaking the noise functions uh, if current progress is any indication. There's no texturing on here yet, um, so we just have the effects of normal mapping and whatever the scattering shaders are doing for us. Alright, this is pretty standard looking terrain, so we're going to go and have a look from orbit. As you can see here, the sun f um, image is purely a side effect of the atmospheric scattering shaders, and as we come out of the atmosphere, you'll see the sun itself on the distance. That's just a sprite, but no, it is to scale and a realistic distance from this planet, which is at about an Earth orbit. From orbit, you can see some artifacts on the water, but that's just um, a normal calculation. We can fix that fairly simply. So, you see, the atmospheric shaders don't look quite as good from orbit, but they still get the job done. Alright, now we're up here recomputing the planet terrain is cheap, so I'm going to pull open our inspector. As you can see, this displays a bit of information about our altitude, the elevation. Um, some render statistics, but also it allows us to toggle into wireframe mode, and we'll disable the atmosphere for a second, so you can see the quad structure of this planet. It's big rectangular tiles, I'm going to bring us in a bit, and you can see the detail refining, and back out again, and it all disappears. Alright, toggle off wireframe, bring back our atmospheres. Now I'm going to demonstrate the noise uh, parameters. Again, this is just a single ridge multifractal. It's generate the planet. But uh, we can connect up more complex noise. I've hooked the parameters up to the GUI here, and so we can play around with them a bit. As you can see, the whole planet is recalculated with the parameters changed, so being in orbit is a very good thing. Otherwise, it'll take you know 30, 40 seconds for the whole planet to recalculate. As with any noise algorithm, these parameters are horrifically sensitive and completely non-intuitive. So actually finding pleasant images is a bit of an issue. We're going to just try playing around with these a little and uh, then we'll go back in to take a look at what we've managed to accomplish. Alright, that looks good. Let's go into this continent thing here. Uh, excuse the choppiness of the frame rate. That is primarily fraps. And as you can see, we've caused some um, more features of the Ridge multifractal show up, and the effect overall isn't very pleasant. So, that wasn't a particularly successful experiment. Alright, folks, that's pretty much all we've got time for today, so I will bid you farewell. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post on my blog or drop me an email. Thanks.